What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the important messages for somebody. So you guys who are dealing with a Scorpio or have that in your chart, if you do, I would go watch the general reading. <laughs> Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Thank you so much for being here. All right, we're going to pull some kippers and then we're going to clarify. Something needs to end. It's not ending, Scorpio. Stop dragging it. Okay. You've been getting that message for a minute. Um, if you guys want to add me on Instagram, I do post. I do post sometimes on there on my story. Um, intuitive messages. Bottom of the deck is concern with mature man in reverse and community in reverse. There's people around you um, that are worried about somebody who is acting immature here. It could also be you worried about this person. They could be making people around you like turn their back on you, okay? But you're gonna be able to get out of the situation. You just have to not give up. Don't, um, don't settle or don't, you know, give up what you truly want, okay? Which definitely contradicts the Scorpio read that I just did. Because it was talking about compromise for y'all in that one. And that's, that's the only way that something is going to work is if you compromise. Ace of Wands. There could be a new beginning trying to come in for you, Okay. All right, so the first card you have is bad health here. So this could be you or someone else, but someone else isn't doing someone isn't doing good. What is this bad health? You have six of cups in reverse. It could be somebody from your past or somebody who you have children with here. They keep doing the same thing. They keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. And um this person is stuck on a on a past mindset. Whether it's you or this person, take it how it resonates. But whoever this is, this person is stuck on how things used to be and things are not like that anymore. Ten of Wands in reverse, Page of Pentacles in the Sun in reverse. Yeah, it's like the universe is going to knock this person down so that they can drop a burden and apologize to you or give you something here. They don't want to do this. Why? What is the Sun in reverse? Because it's like you win or something like that. It's like you win. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. It could be a cancer. Um, bottom of the deck is the high honor here. Okay, so. Hmm. People are talking highly of you here. I don't feel like you believe it though. But people are seeing you at a very high light. What is this high honor? You have King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, because you're emotionally unavailable for these people. <laughs> you're not connected to your emotions whatsoever. So I feel like you're not you're not seeing it. Okay, judgment in reverse, the hangman and the hermit. Yeah, you're being asked to change your perspective. Some of you guys could be wanting to be alone right now, be secluded because you're trying to look at something a different way i feel like you're i feel like you're seeing that people really appreciate you that they look up to you and all of this stuff but you're not feeling it and i feel like you got to go in there's also with the judgment in reverse there's also a, a decision that you're not making what is this judgment in reverse this could involve you and other people the star in reverse could be an aquarius or a leo strength card in reverse five of pentacles in reverse it's really draining for you to, <clears throat> like, if you will submit this decision, it will be very draining for you, but it will get you out of the cold. It will get you out of this lack mindset if you did. And I feel like with the strength, with the star reverse, you have no hope, you have no faith that it's going to work out. But how do you know unless you try? I feel like you really have to try. Um, Scorpio, hold on, because this candle is like flying. Yeah, you, it might just require you to just, like, tweak something. Just, like, fix something. You know? I think you're making something seem a little... It's not that serious is what I'm getting. Okay? 
Um, the next card you have is Coffin in Reverse. This card came out again. I saw that was shuffling. Something needs to end that's not ending. What is this Coffin in Reverse? You have Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. You're no longer putting work to this. could be a work thing. You're no longer putting work into this energy. Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. You're about to miss an offer coming in for you here because you still have something in your energy that's not working out. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Whatever it is that's not working out, it's not growing and it hasn't been growing for a while. Yeah. You might have to separate from this person. This You might have to divorce this person. You might have to move away from this person. But it's like whatever that you need to do, you're not doing it. So there's a there could be an offer here that you're going to miss out on. A really good one too. The lovers and the king of wands. This person, this person finds you very attractive, but you find them very attractive. Could be a Gemini or a Aries, Leo, Sag. This is this is a, a union that the universe is bringing. Now, I don't feel like you're going to. I feel like you're going to miss out on it, and it's going to come back around. But by the time it comes back around, like you're going to be going through it. That's always how it is. So, just so you know, like you separating yourself from something, the universe has something else for you on the other side. If you needed that you know, encouragement. You have imprisonment here as um, the next card. So you feel trapped in something here and I feel like your intuition, your guide, somebody is telling you this. What is this imprisonment? Or they're trying to tell you how to get out. The Hierophant. Could be a Taurus. Yeah. Someone's trying to tell you how to get out. You have to learn your lesson though. And by learning your lesson means moving on to the next thing with no grudge with no resentment, not trying to be petty, not trying to get one up, none of that. It's moving forward in a clear and truthful integrity way, as well as making some compromises because the Hierophant knows what compromising is. The Hierophant knows what's best for both people. The Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's like you know the right thing that you have to do, but you could be a little hesitant to do so because again, like I was saying, grudges and they're, 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 you're like, I need an apology. Where is my apology? Sometimes Scorpio, actually most of the time, actually all the time, you don't need an apology. Our ego is the one that needs an apology. The only person that we need to forgive is ourselves for allowing certain things, for keeping ourselves in certain situations that we know was past due. Okay, and the last card you have is thoughts here. So this is somebody else. There's somebody who was thinking about you. You're on their mind all the time, bro. What is this thoughts? You have the moon in reverse. Could be a cancer. They're about to come tell you this. I feel like this is like, this is like a secret admirer or something. In a swords in reverse, strength card in the hermit. Could be a Virgo or a Leo. It's taking a lot of courage for this person to come and tell you this here. But they're going to come and tell you why. <laughs> they feel like you're emotionally closed off because you are. They're scared that you're not going to want to take a leap with them. <sighs> this person is very intuitive. Could be a Pisces. Yeah. It's like they're wishing and hoping that you see something differently here after you've ended something. After you've gotten over something. Could be an Aries as well or you can have that in your chart all right all right scorpio all that i have for you i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive